this is Tara Omotosho with another inspiring interview from Inspired Into Action. Today we have Andrea Hennessy. Welcome here. She's going to talk to us about all the great things that she has going on. How are you doing? I'm fine, Tara. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to talk about the Teen Glam Girl Conference. Yes. I'm hosting it on May 21st, 2016 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the purpose is to empower and equip young women to flow in their purpose and to perfect their talents, their gifts and their talents. The location is Owen Brown Community Association. It's at 6800 Cradle Rock Way, Columbia, Maryland, 21045. And again, the date is 521-2016 and the time is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the cost is $15. Great. So tell us a little bit more about the conference. The conference is for teenage girls ages what? 12 to 16. 12 to 16. Yes. Okay. And then um, what are they going to be learning at this conference? So they're going to identify the passion that they have, that talent, either doing hair, cooking, uh, styling people as far as fashion. They're going to identify that skill or talent, and then we're going to speak to them on how you go about the action steps of starting a business from start to finish, the business plan, figuring out your cash flow, the budget, what's required, what kind of skills you need to do, or um, just start to perfect that craft. Honing that craft. Yes. Yes. Really speaking into their lives about starting their own business and yes. what it takes to be a businesswoman in this today society. And also letting them know that they're never it's not they're not too young to start a business now. Absolutely. We have we see a lot in this uh state especially of young entrepreneurs starting at ten, starting at eight. I mean you you're never too young to start and it sets you up for your future. You're maximizing your moments now and that will prepare you to have a successful life and be prosperous in the future. Right. So if you are interested, um, you have a daughter that is in this age range that is interested in coming to the conference, please help her to see it, help her to get registered for that. Also, if you don't have a daughter, but you know some girls in your neighborhood, you can sponsor a, a little a girl for this conference for just $15. But when you hear it on this, this interview, between May 4th and May 11th, Andrea is going to give you a special discount just for hearing it here. So could you tell the listeners about the discount that we're oh, talking absolutely. about? Oh, absolutely. I'm offering $3 off to anyone who emails the word glam to teenglamgirl at gmail.com. That's teenglamgirl at gmail.com. And you'll be sending me just that simple word, glam, and you will get that $3 off discount. Great. So this will only run from May 4th to May 11th. I'm going to be putting this, you're going to be hearing this interview during that time, but also after that time. But if you don't email the web, the email address um, between May 4th or May 11th, you will not get the $3 off. You're like, well, what is $3? But how about if you, you get the $3 off and you sponsor another girl and you get $3 off of that and you, and you sponsor another girl and you get $3 off of that, that is $9. That adds up very quickly. Mm -hmm. Then opposed to just paying $15 three times. So again, please make sure you email the email address teenglamgirl at gmail.com. Make sure you put in the word glam to get the special discount for three dollars, right? Yes. All right, great. And so, in regards to planning this conference, what was your what? Why were you inspired to even start and start a conference of this caliber? Well, um, I would have to say that my first lady inspired me because I had a lot of dreams, a lot of ideas that I wanted to do, but she showed me how to take it from my heart and put it in my hands. So mm -hmm. I looked at how she put together her conferences. I looked online and saw some other people that have put together conferences and I said, Hey, I can do this. I was inspired. That's good. And that's what, that's like what this whole interview and things are about, like seeing something that someone else is doing and saying, Hey, they are no different from me. God has given me a gift. 
uh, give me a talent, I could put it out there and and really impact the kingdom of God. And that's Absolutely. exactly what you're doing. Yeah. So, and also you have a daughter who is very, she has, she's very, um, entrepreneur minded and I'm sure that that probably had to do something with it as well don't you think so absolutely yeah. absolutely yes so I have a daughter she's 13 and I said to myself along with helping her and formulating her business plan for the many ideas that she has I would like to outreach and help other girls do the same thing that my daughter is doing so that as we succeed, we can show other people how to do the same thing. Other girls, other mother, mothers and daughters can go through the experience together and it'll inspire mothers too to look back at their dreams and those things that they had tucked away. So if I have a daughter and I, do I drop her off or can I attend too? You can attend also. There's a limited amount of tickets for adults, but absolutely reach out to me or go on the website and register as long as the tickets are available adults can attend with their what's the website again daughters. sorry it's teen glam girl conference.com it's www.teenglamgirlconference.com all right great and then also and we didn't share this ahead of time earlier but uh, i was talking to andrea about there are um if you don't know a young lady but you want to sponsor somebody we do have some young ladies that need sponsorships so if you you like well i don't know a girl maybe i like you're like me i have all boys and don't have a, a little girl hanging around that can benefit from this knowledge but i have 15 dollars or I have $12 that I can sponsor someone for this conference. So if you, and you don't have, you know, children or whatever, but you'd like to sew into this conference, make sure you email only for May 4th through 11th, that special code. We talked about it early. If you didn't remember, go back in the video and look at it again yeah. and make sure you email that email address and let them know that you want to sponsor a girl for this conference. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. And then um, another question I have for you is in planning a conference, what are you said? You looked online, you did some research. What are some challenges that you may have faced? Because this is, you have planned it and you're acting it out. It's, start, it's going to be May, what is it? May 21st. May 21st. May 21st from 10 to 12. 10 to 2. I'm sorry. 10 yes. to 2. 10 to 2. So, what are some challenges or things that you have learned from doing planning this conference, putting it together that someone else can learn from watching this video? They're plan thinking about planning a conference of this caliber. Oh, I would say organization, just staying organized, being consistent with promoting because you have to promote your event. If people don't know about your event, they can't attend. So absolutely having a schedule of when you're going to post, of when you're going to reach out and call people, when you're going to go by and see people, talk to people about your conference, whatever it is you're interested in, you have to constantly promote it. That's true. So are there any, who, who are some of the speakers that are going to be at this conference? So I have Pastor Ava Toe. I have Marlisa, Marlisa Corniture. She's a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I have Eden Williams. She is a songstress she is part of channel recording seven <laughs> and i also yes yeah, she's a recording artist and i also have um naomi samuels who is a teacher and she also has a, a non-profit business where she helps to encourage young girls to stay pure for god that's great that's great that sounds like an awesome lineup and i don't know who would not want to attend i Absolutely, mean just to get yeah. the information and like i said what is what is 15 what is 12 dollars you spend that on, you know, fast food or whatever during lunchtime. You'll spend that amount of money. So why not spend it to benefit a young lady? Um, in regards to just business and being a business person, I'm sure that a lot of the young ladies that go to this conference, they'll learn some of these things. But what are some skills that you think are important for business people to have in this day and age? Oh, I think it's very important to plan to not only save, for your business to make sure you have constant cash flow for your business but to give when you give to others when you look at what you can do for others you always benefit from that so it's always good to share whatever you know with others young people or whatever age it is you see somebody that is interested in starting a business or just making their business more profitable you look to reach out and help others and that always comes back to you 
Yeah, that's definitely true. It's so important to sell. Um, you know, we say we we sell more than we sell. When you sell, when you sell information, you sell uh, projects. You give things to people, like you said, it comes back to you. It's, you reap a great harvest. Yeah. And plus, we're all about giving information to people, helping them, assisting them to start their own business, or assisting them to achieve life dream, dreams. You may say, you know, Tara, you're always talking about business and all these things like that, but maybe I don't want to start a business. But maybe you have a life dream that you want to achieve before you get to a certain age. We can help with that. We can set that up, you know, help you do that. But you have to start sewing somewhere. You have to start sewing somewhere. And what better opportunity, again, I know I keep pushing this and pushing this, but what better opportunity is to sew into this conference? Um, lastly, what are some things, some action steps? If someone wants to start their own business, like you, you, you were talking about your conference, but you also have your own business. And so what are some action steps that you can tell the listeners out here that may want to start their own business, but they don't know where to start? What are some things that you could tell them? Okay, like with this conference, it's like any other thing you might be interested in. You research. Google is great. You look at social media also, and you see people doing the thing that you like to do or that you're interested in growing, promoting, building upon. And you could either reach out to them or you can look at their websites. A lot of times there's a lot of information right on the website that could get you started on the right path. You follow people on social media that are doing the things that you want to do and just see what kind of steps they're taking and you can follow in their footsteps. A lot of times you look at that successful person that's doing what you want to do and just follow their blueprint. Yeah. And take action on it. There's nothing with wrong with just putting it out there. You know, sometimes you just put out the buzz and get people's feedback for what you're doing. And not that their feedback really matters to you. I mean, it's great to have good feedback because you'll get positive and some suggestions to do. But, you know, you just want to create a buzz. So I think that's also good, too. You know, and it also keeps you accountable because if you put it out there, people are going to be looking for your product or service to happen. Absolutely. So um, thank you, Andrea, for being available to interview with us and to share with us about this conference. We really appreciate you taking the time out your schedule to do that. And um, thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>